Hi, and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you how you can install the height adjuster that I've personally designed and that I've showed you guys in my previous video. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, this video is uh, in reply to one of your comments. Um, I was requested if it's uh, straightforward to be installed or not, so I thought it was a good idea to just show you real quick how you can do that. So, um, once you downloaded the file and you use the minimum settings that I've suggested in my uh, description, um, you should basically come out with something that uh, should screw pretty smoothly in the first try, okay? Now, don't look at my thread over here. It's been used and abused already, so it's it turned a little bit uh, uh, whitish. Uh, but as you can see, it goes quite smooth. However, if uh, for some reason your printer uh, didn't do a good job or simply um, the material had uh, some problem, uh, I would highly recommend you to use... Uh, uh, another bolt and nut of the same size so that you can quickly clean up the thread you know by screwing it all the way and then unscrewing it all the way um, alternatively if you have it around in your workshop you could use one of those top and dies of the same size though so this is an m10 1.5 um, but let's now take everything out of the way uh, once you know that your uh, 3D printed part is actually good, we can then proceed uh, with the installation. So first thing first, you have to unplug your machine. So the first thing you want to do, you want to disconnect the cable that goes to the module. So to do that, um, you will just pry a little bit with your flat screwdriver. And as you can see, this comes off pretty easily. Um, after that, um, I suggest you to dismantle the module from the clamp. So I will just go. All right. So now I've already installed this one previously, as I've showed you in my previous video. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to reinstall it. Now, the initial design, um, it was to use uh, small screws that I've prepared over here uh, so that it would hold in place on this small um, intruding parts. But uh, then it turns out to fit quite smoothly. So uh, what you want to do basically is, uh, as you can see, this is clear on all sides. So bearing in mind and be careful being careful to this uh, connector over here so you can then try to put it from one side then to get it on on the other and it's a little bit of um, you know just need to try a little bit so that it gets perfect as you can see it goes in quite tight that's exactly what we want and now this will play a little bit will juggle a little bit but once you put it in place this will basically get stuck slightly inclined as you can see here which is enough for the purpose so once you're done with that uh, you can also put your thread on already your bolt but I would suggest you to do that after you um, put the connector so it's not on the way so put it back inside and for now let's give it a tight okay now you can take again your connector um, bear in mind the correct direction you will need to stick it over here and then with the uh, flat screwdriver you can try to help it first from the side Okay, and then you can push it a little bit from the top 
okay? And you can double check from the side if actually this went all the way through. In my case, it's already okay. And after that, you can insert your bolt on top. Okay, now you can release the clamp. Um, you need to release the clamp so that it doesn't wobble so much. You can see now it's wobbling a little bit too much. You want it to be able to slide just right. And that's how you do it. Now, uh, <clears throat> if you notice that because of the tolerances of your uh, 3D printer, uh, this is not actually stacking in place. You can screw a couple of those on side and it will be good to go. Uh, the other thing that I might suggest you is you can apply a little bit of oil or grease on the clamp so that it will go up and down smoothly. All right, so, and that's how you do it. I hope you found the video helpful. If you liked it, click the thumb up button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one. Ciao for now!